Hi guys, today's project I'm going to make an aeroplane, a model aeroplane, or a glider to be exact. I had some success making a glider out of these polystyrene plates uh, a little while back, just using the, the flat centre to make the wings and the tail and the fin rudder. Um, quite small, so today I'm going to see what I can do with these polystyrene pizza bases. Now they're not ideal by any means. They've got a bit of a knobbly surface on this side and they've got indentations on this side. Um, but I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to do the same as I did with the other one. I'm going to cut a strip out the middle and use that for the wing. What I think I might do is I might actually make called a polyhydral wing which is in four sections so it'll actually be a fairly large glider by the time I finished no idea if it'll hang together because I'm just going to hot glue it together and see how we get on but uh, we'll give it a try and I'll probably use one of my flower canes for the fuselage and as I've said before, they're not exactly straight, but that shouldn't matter for what I'm going to do here. Right, I'm going to cut through two at a time, and I'm making it as wide as I can to get a reasonable length. Length being that direction. So I've actually measured that up, I've got 120 millimetres wide and that's going to give me a section about 220 long. If I can get four of them that's going to give me quite a big wingspan. Right, so that's two panels. Should be quite interesting trying to make that flat because it naturally curves. But hopefully when I score a line along it and bend it to give us the aerodynamic shape, that should stiffen it and hold it straight. Right, I'm making these dimensions up as I go along. Uh, the width of my strips is 120 millimetres. I've drawn a, li a line 40 millimetres back and I'm going to put a deep score in that with a pencil, I should think, and then use that as the fold line. So I want that to fold up. And I'll have to decide how far I want it to fold, but that will then be our airfoil shape and it will also give it some rigidity. I'll run some hot glue up there and then just stick it. Right, that one's folding quite nicely. That one, as I tried to fold it, it's actually split. So what I'm going to do is run some sticky tape along the back before I actually fold it over and hot glue it. Right, I'm going to run some hot glue along there, rest it on there to get the bend at the right angle and then scrape off the hot glue very quickly with a bit of scrap polystyrene. before it's actually cooled. That helps to spread it and hopefully when it's cooled down that should be fairly rigid. Alright, got my four sections. What I now need to do is put the dihedral in the centre section. That's just where it lifts up a little bit. And then the polyhedral on the outer sections. 
I'll need to trim the inside edges so that they match up when they're at an angle. Right, there's our polyhydral wing. I might trim the edges, round them off a little bit, just to make them look a little bit neater. But uh, that's our wing. Right, now we need to make the tail. So I'll use some of these scrap bits. I have to make the tail out of, um, I think, four pieces. Because I haven't got any single piece that's big enough. Right, this will be one half of the tail. I've just chamfered along there so I can glue that up and give us a little bit of a lifting surface. Okay, that's the tail made out of four separate bits of scrap. Right, that's the tail and the fin and the rudder assembly. Right, next thing is to glue it onto my rather bent piece of cane. And I'm going to use the fact it's bent to give us a bit of angle of attack on the wing just to see if it'll work because the wing should be tilted up very slightly at the front. Okay, there we are. Hot glued it to the cane. Uh, that's just electrical tape wrapped around the front to get the balance about right. So we better give it a test flight. Still a tiny bit tail heavy, I think. So I'll add a little bit more weight to it. Okay, I've added a little bit more... Well, I've added some solder, actually, onto the front there. Okay, summary time. Made entirely out of pizza trays, apart from my flour cane for the fuselage. So, pizza tray, pizza tray, pizza tray, pizza tray, pizza tray, pizza tray, pizza tray. Electrical tape and a bit of solder to get the balance right, which should be. just about there somewhere. And it flies fine. Pleased with that one. <laughs>